Welcome to Bobby Jones Golf Course in Atlanta, Georgia for the Renee Powell Clearview Legacy Benefit. Today is all about showcasing the legacy of LPGA legend Renee Powell and her contribution and impact on women's golf. We're also celebrating the 75th anniversary of Clearview Golf Club in East Canton, Ohio, which was built by hand by Renee's father and is the only course designed, built, owned, and operated by an African American. All proceeds from today's festivities benefit the Clearview Legacy Foundation. Hello everyone, I'm Laura Diaz, and I'm excited to bring you an inside look at this very special fundraising event, honoring Renee Powell and her father, Bill Powell. We have some major LPGA star power in attendance today, from major champ Mo Martin to two-time Annika Award winner Leona McGuire. Today's stars of the LPGA Tour are here to tee it up in this fun event, as well as honor Renee and make an impact on the future stars of this game. But before we get to the golf action, let's take a moment to learn a little bit more about why we're all here today in the words of Mariah Stackhouse. Who can say how legacies come to be? So often the path is obscured while in the midst of being blazed. Obscured, that is, unless the path begins at a place like this. Clear view, the name speaks for itself. To see without obstruction, to walk in purpose, to drive, as far as the imagination will allow. Renee Powell knows a thing or two about legacy because she grew up here. On this course, her father built with his own two hands. America's course. A place meant to welcome everyone to the game when others refused. Tuskegee Airmen, Marion Motley, Jackie Robinson played here. They were fixtures of her youth. To play on this hallowed ground is to see the game of golf through her father's eyes. For all that it is and all that it can be. Rooted in family, she came of age in a world swirling in racial strife and inequality. But her love of the game was pure. It was in her blood. As only the second black woman to enter the LPGA, she competed in more than 250 professional tournaments during her career, winning the Kelly Springfield Open in Brisbane in 1973. Seven years later, she walked away from the tour and never looked back. Not because she could no longer compete, but because there was still so much more she needed to do. The work her parents began when they carved that modest course out of the Ohio landscape to give everyone a chance to play the game is now hers to carry on. Ambassador, public speaker, head professional, mentor. In 2008, her passion for the game brought Renee Powell all the way to the sacred halls of St. Andrews in Scotland, where her father had been stationed during the Second World War. In its 600-year history, Renee is the first woman golfer to ever receive an honorary doctorate from the university. And her dad was right there in the front row when she accepted. Bill was proud that day, and he'd be even more proud now to see his daughter honor his legacy by creating Clearview Hope, a way for American service women and men to find therapy and peace through golf. Renee's always been about putting others first. She doesn't seem to know any other way. You can see it in the work she's done as the first at-large director for the PGA of America's board, and in the work she continues to do every day at Clearview. That's the thing about legacy. It's a shared story. The bonding of the present with the past. The connection between clarity, purpose, and hope for a brighter future. Okay, have fun guys. What an impact Renee has had on the golf world. Mariah and Renee kicked off the morning 
welcoming the crowd, and giving some insight into their relationship. Well, first of all, I want to welcome everyone here today. Thank you all so much for being here. 75 years ago, long before I was born, my, fa my father designed and built Clearview Golf Course shortly after he came out of World War II. And he built the golf course because of the fact he wanted to, to give everybody an opportunity. So my dad always taught the one word that sticks in my mind all the time is opportunity. So my dad always said everybody should have an opportunity to play this game of golf. He built it simply because he was not welcome at other area golf courses. And it wasn't in the south, it was in the north. It was in Ohio. And if you can think about a hand seater around your neck and, and, and turning the seed and turning the handle and spreading the seed, it's literally how he built the first nine holes of the golf course, literally walking back and forth. So this is a fairway, walking back and forth every step of the way. But Clearview is such a significant part of not only, not only golf or, or African-American, but of American history. You know, my, both of my parents are gone now, but my brother is a golf course superintendent. I'm a golf professional. My responsibility and obligations are to make sure that the legacy of Clearview continues for the next 75 years and beyond. So Clearview operates, we're a golf course, but we operate mostly on, on fundraising and donations. And so I am so thrilled that the LPGA and KPMG is such a major part of this, of putting this whole thing together. Oh my gosh, the commitment. Wow, I don't want to talk so much that I get emotional about it. But, uh, you know, I'm just so thrilled that all this is happening um, today. It's great to be able to kick this off uh, here in Atlanta, where Mariah is from, and that she can be a part of all of this. I was so happy to be able to get out there and watch you play a little bit, and uh, very impressed, and, and I'm so glad that we had an opportunity to meet, finally. Renee is personally an inspiration for me, and you literally paved the way for myself and the others that have come after. And so I just have such a huge respect for you as a person, as an athlete, as a human, as a fighter. And, uh, and that meant the world to me to be able to be involved. I'm so glad to see somebody who's following in my footsteps that is out there on the LPGA Tour, who looks like me, <laughs> who loves the game of golf as much as I do. Wow, thank you all very much for being here and uh, being a part of all of this. This is a pretty hard dog like left, so you do want to stay, like, try to hug the left as much as you can. That's one of the fastest growing demographics in the game, our junior girl golfers, and it's just really exciting where we are in terms of girls' golf. Did you see it? Just kind of like swing it easy, put it on the ground. LPGA USGA girls golf members had the chance to play alongside LPGA players to get an up-close look at what it takes to play at the highest level. Sometimes I like to go like under under the hole and you see like okay you can kind of see the general slope. I think over time when you pot and play a lot you'll kind of just get a feel for it naturally you know it'll come quicker as you play more and practice more. I always say trust your gut because your initial read is probably the right read. So what do you see here? So I see a downhill working left to right. Okay. How far out left? Um, maybe two ball. It's like kind of putting it right through here? Yeah. I like that. Good putt. Oh, your read though. <laughs> I think, you know, this is much more about the bigger picture than just golf. It's how we can use our platform to give back and to, to raise awareness for the girls trying to get into the game. It's very encouraging to see like how they hit their shots, how they think on the course. And Renee Powell, she's such a legend. She opened the doors for girls golf and minorities to play. And it's very nice being here playing golf with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun out here.
I really look up to Mariah Stackhouse. I just feel like she's really inspirational since she's one of the only African-American ladies on the tour, so I really look up to her. It is really important, so I can feel like I can do that too in the future. The golf action extended into the afternoon with fun challenges on each hole that highlight today's overall mission of growing the game for everyone. Cool. Wow. Is there a six foot chair for six foot plus people? Oh, yeah. There you go. Ooh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> That's the best one we've had all day. All the LPGA stars who are here today know how important Renee Powell is to this game and the impact she continues to make. I mean, Renee, her story is truly remarkable. She's such a pioneer. She's changed golf. She's working day in and day out to provide opportunities. And I think the LPGA wants to do the same thing. I and mean, we want to grow the game. We want to introduce it to people that might not otherwise have that opportunity and be able to really change their lives through the game. And I believe that not only on the course, but off the course, the things that you learn playing golf translate to every part of your life. So I think this is just truly exciting kind of look back and, and see who was here before us and she's one of the, the names that definitely pops up when you talk about LPGA's history. I think her story is just another way to inspire all of us to make a difference in someone else's life. We're having fun today. Yes. It's pretty awesome when you meet a, a hero and somebody who's led the way and she's even more amazing than you thought she was going to be. I think everything that Renee has done for women's golf is really inspiring. It's an honor for me to be part of this day and and see the legacy that she's building. For me to be just a small part of that is, is a real privilege. Just her willingness to, to give back and to see through the next generation of players. It's inspiring, it really is. Hands we at our hips, right? Good. There we look, we got flight. I love it. I think that right now we're at the precipice of some amazing things going on in golf and she's playing a, a, a big role in that. You see more minorities playing golf, more women. I think golf is becoming a lot more accessible to people. It's not just a white, male, rich game anymore. But I think there's always room for improvement and that's why any event we do like this really makes a difference and it's cool to be a part of. I think respect and seeing value in everybody and I think we're finally getting the message that we all have something to bring to the table and, and that we all win when we lift each other up. Yeah, I like it it's really powerful for someone to be able to play the game of golf but then also give back because that's what we're all out here trying to do. Pretty inspiring, very exciting that, that I was be able to be a part of it. Any kid that can get a golf club in their hands is going to be better off and I think it's a wonderful community. It's made my life better I and mean, I think it's making all of our lives better. In order to follow in her footsteps, I just hope that we can oh, yeah. create a more inclusive environment and leave the tour a better place, just like she did. Making an impact on the next generation is something extremely important to Renee, and today's youth clinic presented by PGA Reach did exactly that. Did anybody learn anything today? I learned how to golf because it's my first time. Oh, we got a first timer. Let's give her a round of applause. PGA Reach is a charitable foundation of the PGA of America that focuses on impacting the lives of youth, military, and diverse population by enabling access to the game of golf. As you can see, today's event is about celebrating the past, but also looking ahead to the future. Present day LPGA star Maria Stackhouse caught up with Renee to reflect. I am so proud of you. Renee, it yes. is so, so great to be here with you today. I hope you're having an amazing time. I am having an incredible day. So tell us, what does today mean to you? Do you know, you know, I, I tried not to think about what today was going to be, right? Mm -hmm. So I just sort of kept it low, you know, low key. And then when I got here, you know, seeing all the people, having you here. Mm -hmm. All right, give me a high five. It is. It's just outstanding, you know. I mean, just to know that people are are getting to know a little bit more, creating an awareness mm -hmm. about Clearview, what one man, what one black man did 75 years ago, mm -hmm. 
is amazing. Mm -hmm. Legacies are important. Yes. History is important. Mm -hmm. And you know, you look at you know past, present, future. All of that is important. You need to know where one came from in order to know where you're going. Amen. I like that. And you know, we didn't know what it was going to grow into, mm -hmm. or what it was going to look like. Yes. This has been absolutely amazing. I just love it. I'm glad to hear that, Renee. You yeah. and your father, Bill Powell, have given so much to the game. So it's only right that. Uh, like you said earlier, that awareness is, is being brought and that love and support and, uh, and respect for the journey and, 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 you know, the dedication to the sport that you all have both given us. I'm incredibly excited yeah. to see people rallying around that. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yes. You know, you mentioned earlier the next 75 years. Uh -huh. So what does the Clearview Legacy Foundation hope to achieve over the next 75 years. Making people or creating that awareness, not only of the golf course, but creating that awareness of something that's there, and it's a model yes. for the rest of the country, for mm -hmm. the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And so it's mm -hmm. con the continuing growth of expanding what's there, yes. uh, because we're working on an educational building. It's, uh, you know, to, so we can, you know, I want to create a little, you know, golf academy, you know, for young people. I, I know it was sort of interesting when my dad passed away, uh, the PGA's collected all of these articles from all over the world, and I'm like, I didn't know people knew about my daddy, right? Yeah. It's my daddy. Yeah. And, but seeing what he did and what he meant. Yes. You know, and those are the things that we want to continue to, to expand upon. Yes. I can't yeah. wait to see that come to fruition. Yeah. Yes. Wait a minute, you were 11 years old and you shot 67? Wow. So Renee, you've been a pioneer for getting more minorities involved in the game of golf. So how do you think golf itself can get better at that? I go past a golf course and, and I always look at who don't we see out there. Mm -hmm. My other belief is that we need to get more people of color and upper management in the game. And that's where we're missing, that's where we're lacking. Mm -hmm. in, because things, I mean, things can grow from the bottom, but they also have to come from leadership from the yes, top. Yes, indeed, indeed. I, I, I agree with that 100%, actually. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of, of myself and, and the other couple of players, uh, uh, you know, the past year or so since last summer, we actually had a time to connect and mm -hmm. we talked about the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I think actually we've begun to see recreationally um, <laughs> Quite a lot, of, a lot more minorities just casually enjoying yeah. the game, but it's not changing, you know, at a fast enough right. pace with the leadership. And I think that yeah. that's definitely the next step. Yeah, I think that's a, it's a huge step. It may be a big leap, but I think that the more people realize mm -hmm. that uh, things need to change along that line, maybe you know we can get them motivated. And, mm -hmm. and it's not just people talking about it, but it's people taking action and doing it. Yes. Oh yeah. Got us. Great shot. To grow the game. Right. To grow the game, to keep the game healthy. Yes. We need to get more people of all diversity. Yes. Populations yes. into the game of golf. And so recreationally, we have to grow it there. But from a management standpoint, too, we need to grow it. Man. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. We are. Yes, we are. <laughs> and, and I'm hearing you talking, and, and you have so much passion, and you have such a vision for this game. So why is giving back and why is giving so much to the game of golf important to you? Well, you know, my, my mom taught me all along that, you know, in life, you have to always give back. In life, you always have to make, make life better. I know golf. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I can give back to, right? <laughs> Every one of us stand on shoulders of, of those who came before us. I think that everybody has a responsibility to try to make the world better. And they can, you know, and people can do it in, in different ways, you know? Mm -hmm. And they can do it in just small ways, but they need to do it. Uh, when you have a stage, yes. like in professional athletes mm -hmm. or in entertainment, where you have a bigger audience, I think we too have a responsibility in it yeah. in a different manner. And just watching you and seeing what you do and how you do it, yes. you've already taken that on. Oh, and I'm so proud of you. I'm working on it. You doing are? my best. Yes. You are. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But just keep doing it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You have my word. <laughs> Renee, you have given the game of golf more than it could have ever asked of you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. It is seen. It is appreciated. It's respected and it's loved. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. You're terrific. You are as you well. Are. <laughs>
Yes. Okay. <laughs> So cool to hear two amazing women discuss those important issues. Renee also put her money where her mouth is as $10,000 was donated to LPGA USGA Girls Golf, John A. White Golf Course, and Black Girls Golf through the Renee Powell Fund. A check was also presented to Renee in the amount of $200,000 that'll go directly to the Clearview Legacy Foundation to assist their efforts to preserve the Clearview Golf Club for future generations to enjoy this game we all love. To cap off all the fun today, an evening reception was held for everyone in attendance with some of the best minority-owned food trucks in the Atlanta area, like Pop Bar. I tried their orange pineapple popsicle, and let me tell you, it was excellent. What a day it's been out here in Atlanta. We've taken you inside the legacy of Renee Powell and Clearview Golf Club and seen firsthand the impact she's made on so many people in this game. Oh, I like it. A special thanks to our legacy sponsors, KPMG, the LPGA, and the Mariah Stackhouse Foundation. To learn more and to donate, you can go to clearviewlegacybenefit.com. Thanks for watching.